Okay, we're going to look now at uh, one of the, the, the key men for Portugal, Didi, and, and not the obvious one, obviously, but um, a, a very important player in this team, William Carvalho. Yeah, he's been excellent for Portugal, and uh, Portugal won the European Championship because they were good going forward, but I think they were even better uh, in the back. And in Pepe in front, they've got two excellent centre halves, and they've got protections uh, with William. We see him here picking the ball up, bringing his, uh, his uh, flair players into play, gives it to Ronaldo. He keeps it simple, and that's what I like about him. He anticipates what he has to do in that position. Sometimes he gets a bit too cute with his pass, and he wants to um, thread balls through the needle of an eye here. And it, it's, uh, sometimes he can lose a possession very easily because it, it almost looks, when we watch him, uh, it almost feels he never gets out of second gear. Everything comes very easy to him because he's a very powerful man, uh, very quick, very strong. Uh, what I like about him is his discipline. We see him here, again, chases back, does a job for the team, waits, delays, so all the players can go back and get in position. Uh, and here we see him, he's just uh, one against one, he's one of the strongest players, and he's very hard to beat. Here he knocks Iniesta off the ball. Um, and what I like about him is, is his discipline, because I think when you play the position, you've got to play the same whether you're winning or losing. And tonight will be a game where they probably have 7 to 80 percent possession. And I think you need a player there who sits there because sometimes people in this position can get carried away because they think we've got so much possession here, I may as well join in and maybe I'm the one who scores a goal from 20, 25 yards. He won't do that because he knows I've got to sit there. We've got four or five players who are more uh, equipped to do damage going forward. And um, yeah, that's why I like him. He's a huge player for them. There's a lot of talk he'll be in the Premier League yeah. next season. He reminds me of Gilberto Silva who played for mm -hmm. Arsenal and Brazil. You know, as Didi said, he doesn't... Uh, vacate the space. He just sits there and, and he stops. And in Fernando Santos, the Portuguese coach, they have a wily coach. They don't. They never. They never overcommit themselves. They have Ronaldo up front, and they don't overcommit themselves. But he's the guy that organises that midfield for them. Yeah, and the coach actually, Santos, he was livid with the way they played against Morocco. He criticised the group um, in, in the press conference afterwards and, and since.